let's understand something about reflections now I told you about shadows that you know depending on where you are situated let's say we were looking at the shadow of a ball so the shadow was coming something like this and it need not necessarily be of the same size and same shape as that the ball itself right but we all use mirror at homes okay now when a person looks into the mirror what do you see you see it exactly of the same kind as the person itself okay so what happens is when this guy looks into the mirror or for that matter even when we look into the mirror what we see is that our own face is reflected inside the mirror okay and what happens is that this looking into this mirror to see your own face is known as reflection of your face now if you see there are various places where you can see reflections glass or mirror is obviously one of them right that could be the mirror at your home it could be the mirror in the car okay second is if you go in lake or ponds where the water is clear there also you can see your own reflection the thing is that when you see a reflection it's more or less in consonance with the actual object so if you see the reflection of a person it's the same as the person itself it would not be of a different shape so just like this guy is looking here it has to be that of this it cannot be a fish so the reflection has to be of the individual himself not of a ship unlike in cases in some of the cases in shadows where the shadows might be misleading now you must be wondering as to what is happening why does this show the same image so what happens is that whenever anything is any light falls on the mirror it reflects it back i mean it is not able to absorb that light but it reflects it back and that's how this reflection process works 